uh, this Herod, because there are a few of the Herods in Scripture, this Herod, Herod Agrippa, was from a long line of Herods that were a problem for the people of God. This particular Herod was really only persecuting the church because it appealed to his base. Y'all didn't hear what I said. He was persecuting the church because it appealed to his base. Uh, and you do know there are some politicians that only persecute certain people because that appeals to their base. Uh, there are people who only do things out of political expediency. They, they, they have no real uh, political agenda except to stay in power. For this Herod, the right things uh, was what worked at that moment. Uh, if it got him cheers at a make Rome great again rally, he would keep on saying it. If it scored him some political points with the right religious right people, he would keep on doing it. If it was beneficial to his bottom line, uh, he made sure he positioned himself to gain financially from his political position. And if we take a look at today's political landscape, there's still some politicians uh, who only pander to their base. Uh, there's still some politicians who do certain things to appease certain religious supporters who can provide votes that on they need on election day. There are still some politicians, y'all not hearing me, that will demonize a minority group to get votes for the majority group. Uh, there are still some politicians who claim they care but are really just doing what is politically expedient. And I dare say that, that this phenomena is not isolated to one political party. Oh no, oh no. I've seen Republicans and Democrats both double talk and panda. I've seen Republicans say all lives matter in the womb but fail to rally their political will for black lives outside of the womb. I, I've seen Democrats say they are for the poor but then vote to keep predatory lending laws in place uh, to assume their political donors on Wall Street. Uh, I've seen Republicans talk about thoughts and prayers but won't get behind smart gun legislation. I've seen Democrats show up to black churches prior to election day only to vanish when we need more funds uh, for our schools. Uh, these Democrats will give developers money to gentrify Shaco Bottom but won't pave the road on Broad Rock. Oh, y'all not hearing what I'm talking about, but I'm here to let you know Herod is cut from the same cloth. Herod was no different. Herod was an obstacle to the church, uh, and you got to be careful. But, but the good news is God knows how to deal with the obstacles. Uh, Herod was a problem to the church, uh, but God knows how to deal with your problem. Herod was a mountain that needed to be moved, but my God can move a mountain. Uh, so let's look at the text. Uh, let's see what God does. Uh, now, history only sees the next series of events as something that, is, that just happened. Most history books only see this as a regular historical event. The regular historians don't see anything unusual or extraordinary about the death of Herod, but the church sees this as a move of God. Historians view this short reign of Herod as something as nothing nothing really unusual. They, they just chalk it up to, to they're nothing really out of the ordinary. They see Herod's death as just they don't see the hand of God. They don't see this as something that helped the church. They don't see this as God working things out so the church can continue their mission without this obstacle. And beloved, everybody won't see how God moves in your life like you do. Everybody won't record the events in your life as God moving on your behalf. Everybody's not going to see God did something so that you could do something that you needed to do. Everybody won't look at your promotion as God moving. Everybody won't look at the break that you got as God moving on your behalf. Everybody won't see how you got there, that you got there by the hand of God on your life, but you know, you know if it had not been for the Lord, you know if it hadn't been for some divine intervention, you were just about where you're at your wit's end. You didn't know how you were going to do it. You ran out of options. You didn't know what you were going to do. You couldn't see how to get around it, but God, I wish I had some but God praises in the house, some folks who don't mind saying thank you, some folks who don't mind declaring but God hallelujah but God uh, uh, so, so just since I don't hold you too long because I feel like preaching a little bit so, but I can't hold you too long let's look at this series of events and let's see how God moved for the church uh, well what we know is that in the earlier part of chapter 12 Herod was in the Judean area persecuting the disciples and killing them. We read that on last week. But in verse 19, the Bible says, Herod leaves Judea. 
We're not really exactly sure why Herod moved his base of operation, but he moved, but this move helped the church. Let me say it again. This move helped the church. And beloved, sometimes God just moves your mountains. He just, he just moves it. Somebody say, move it, God. Move it, God. You, you need God to move it. God used some circumstances, hear me now, to move Herod out of Judea. The situation moved Herod physically and moved his attention off of persecuting the church. Uh, you just need God to move it. Lord, just move it. Just move them. Just move the pain. Just move the heartache. Just move it, God. God moved Herod, and God can move your obstacle, and God can move your mountain. Uh, the church didn't move Herod. God used a regular, ordinary political situation to move Herod and to the unspiritual, to the, un to the ordinary. Uh, this looks like something regular, but to the spiritual folk, this was a divine move from God. And you know what I have found out? That I don't always need an angel. I just need God to move my mountain out of the way. Uh, I just need the hand of God to move my situation from here to over there. Y'all not hearing what I'm saying? I just need my crazy boss to get a new job over there so I can have peace over here. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying? I just need God to move some. I just need God to move my spouse uh, to have peace on their job so they'll stop raising hell at home. Uh, Y'all don't hear what I'm talking about. I just need the 15th to fall on a Thursday so I can pay my bill on a Friday. Somebody know what I'm talking about. I, I just need my co-worker to go on vacation so I can get some extra hours of overtime to pay my light bill this month. Uh, Y'all know what I'm talking about. Sometimes all you need is God to just move something. 